Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is the first episode of my new series, Asian Kitchen. And today I'm here with my beautiful mother. And today we are going to make Filipino chicken adobo. Diba? Right? Yes. Yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, so here's all the things that you need garlic. Garlic. So we have peeled garlic. It's already packaged. Bay leaves. We need some bay leaves. Silver swan soy sauce. And you really have to have this because this is the thick one. This is for cooking. And you can get this from any Asian store. Tapos. And uh, the tea vinegar. You can use any vinegar, but this would work the best. Of course, don't forget the chicken. We're doing the chicken adobo. So this, we, when we went to the store, we got four quarter legs. And then I had them chop it to make it bite pieces. Wash it first before, uh, you know, you cook. Yeah, you want to wash you wanna your chicken before you do anything to it. <laughs> okay. So, what we're going to do first is, yeah. take it up from the present. Obviously, you can use like, you know, regular fresh right, garlic, right. but... And then we're gonna smash it. And then you can just do that. Just just get like, you know, this flat knife. Like this? And, then, mm -hmm. and then you smash it. Let it flat. And then make sure it's flat. I should. <laughs> this hurts. Just, you know, do it like that. Don't how, come it don't, how come it doesn't work when I do it? Don't be afraid. So if you don't want to do that, is get like a glass. Like something like this. Easier. See? Upper arm strength. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this. This is easier. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, and then, so after that, we're gonna use this flat. I like using this, but you can use any, you know, like the, the higher. <laughs> so, you can use like a dutch pan, or you can even use like a wok, maybe? Yeah. A wok. You can use a wok. A deep dish pan. Yeah. Exactly. And she's heating this on what medium high heat? Um, yeah. So we're gonna take uh, a little bit of olive oil, but you can also use like vegetable oil or any type of oil. any type of cooking oil. Exactly, cooking oil. <laughs> they meant to use baby oil. <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna use baby oil, but you know, <laughs> you never, you never know. <laughs> So wait until it gets brown. Brown, 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 brown. That's good enough. And then what we're gonna do is chicken. If you buy your chicken from the Asian market, they would usually cut it for you. Let's cut the water. For the saute the chicken. So you want to saute everything, diba? Yes. Saute, saute until it's sizzling and brown it a little bit. Go ahead and get me like a cup of soy sauce. Oh wow, that's thick. This is thick and this hey. is good for cooking adobo. <laughs> and then also a cup of vinegar. One is to one is the ratio. So one cup of soy sauce, one cup of vinegar. If you add more soy sauce, you add more vinegar. So then you're gonna cover it. So we're gonna let the chicken cook probably 15 to 20 minutes. Burn, baby, burn. So it's going burn. Oh. Alexa, set the timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. So it's 15 minutes. We're gonna add our baby. Mmm, Look at that, look at that. Look at that, look at that. Naimas, 
Naima, that's Ilocano. Bretman is Ilocano. That's right. He yeah. is. He's Ilocano. He's speaking. He speaks more mom. Ilocano than <laughs> Tagalog. Okay, so we're gonna add our bay leaf. How many? How much? Probably about five. Five bay leaves. One. Isa, dalawa. Tatlo. Tatlo. Apat. Apat. Lima. Lima. And what does this do, Mom? It just like gives like the aroma and taste, a little bit of taste to it, and that's why you don't really want to put a lot. You know, it's just to enhance the flavor. So we're gonna do a little taste because it's hot. Mmm, mmm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it really oh, good? Oh, I love adobo. It's my favorite Filipino dish. Now, now I can leave you and you can cook your own adobo. And then now it's looking pretty good. Just like what we were talking about earlier, you will want to like serve this in rice and we, you know, you can serve it also with cucumbers or um, mango to neutralize the saltiness. So I always have cooked rice on hand. <laughs> so this is sorry, this is leftover rice because I just oh, I always have cooked rice in my fridge because you never know when you're you're gonna need some rice. So yeah. we're just gonna microwave this. If you're cooking rice, the general rule for like any grain really, like if you're cooking quinoa or rice, is one cup of grains, two cups of water. So if you add one cup of rice, you're gonna add two cups of water. If you're adding if you're cooking two cups of rice, you're gonna add four cups of water. Okay? So we're gonna microwave this. I shit! Ow! <laughs> And I'm gonna give you, uh, you're gonna put like sauce all over your rice. Yeah, I gotta get that juice. That juice in there. And let's try it. My taste buds is already. Laway, laway. And I'm laway, laway. What is that? What the hell does that mean? I've never heard that before in my life. What is that? Naglalaway. Naglalaway. Meaning you're like salivating. Yes. There you go. Naglalaway. Salivating. Salivating. Ah. It's good, it's hot. Mmm. <laughs> That's good. Okay. I need I need this. <laughs> there you go. Mmm. See, it's good with pineapple mm. for some reason. I love it with pineapple. Pass pass. <laughs> okay. There you go. It's our uh, Filipino chicken adobo. <laughs> I love you. Oh. I love you. Thanks so much, mommy. Okay. For teaching me how to make that chicken adobo. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. Oh, I love my mom! <laughs> Bye, guys! <laughs>